Hey everybody, Muse here, and great news! I'm currently in the middle of writing a script for a new Worst One-Hit Wonders of the 2000s, but in the meantime, a little impromptu video. Because you know what? It's not every day that just a prime piece of pop rock gold begging for a raw, unscripted review just happens to fall into your lap. Well, today, we got talking about Fallout Boy and Missy Misdemeanor. They've got a new song for the new Ghostbusters movie. Because who doesn't love the original Ghostbusters theme? Aside from Huey Lewis, who doesn't love the original Ghostbusters theme? A lot of 80s movies have quintessential songs. Songs you hear that bring you back or remind you about that movie. But very few of them are legitimate theme songs. You know, like... Had the time of my life, or I'm Alright from Caddyshack, or Maniac from Flashdance. Yeah, they all make you think of the movie, but they're not about the movie. Ghostbusters, though, by Ray Parker Jr., is just that. And it worked so well for the original Ghostbusters, and maybe the sequel? I don't remember if it was in, if it was in the sequel. I, I guess it kind of would have been weird not to. But at the same time, it kind of feels lazy. Huey Lewis had two different songs, back to Huey Lewis, had two different songs for Back to the Future 1 and 2. Even ZZ Top for Back to the Future 3, to a much lesser extent. But this time, we're going back to the drawing board and basically just putting a little little film of parchment paper over it and just kind of just uh, sketching it out, just tracing it, basically. Because this isn't exactly a cover but it's a modern take. Fall Out Boy and Missy Misdemeanor Elliot bring us the much needed, the demanded 2016 remake of the Ghostbusters theme. You know, what the original Ghostbusters theme had that made it so great, amongst other things, was the way it started. Just that like it builds and then like it got you kind of pumped and you were like you could visualize the beginning of the movie and all that just from the first couple seconds but if you ask me it was missing about 24 seconds of <laughs> see I wasn't exactly there well I was there but I wasn't really paying attention to the glory days a Fallout Boy. You know, the dance dances, and the thanks for the memories, and the... Uh, buh, sugar, we're going down! There it is. See, I knew of those songs, but I wasn't exactly a Fallout Boy fan. But, there is certainly a change in Fallout Boy with the whole Uma Thurman thing. They're doing this weird sample work now that eh, I'm not a huge fan of. The monsters sample, uh, it was okay, it worked, it was interesting, I actually kind of think that's pretty cool, but at the other, on the other hand, I don't really understand why it needed to be in there, and furthermore, why, if you're a rock band capable of playing instruments, why you wouldn't just perform the sample from the monsters theme? Why would you actually need to lift the audio from what it sounds like off fucking YouTube? You did not get the master copy of the Monsters theme. It has a weird hiss to it. Like they actually just plugged up an auxiliary cable to a TV and just recorded it straight to their laptop. And here, we got the weird It's like, what is this trying to be? Is this trying to be some weird dance party song? Because I don't come to listen to Fall Out Boy, well, ever, but I specifically don't for cool hip party dance tunes. Strange in the neighborhood. Who you gonna call? Another thing that makes the Ghostbusters 
Monsters theme so great is Ray Parker Jr.'s smooth delivery. You know, it's like he's just talking to this girl who's like, Oh, Ray, I'm afraid my house is haunted. Can you help me? And he's like, Hey, girl, put your mind at ease. Because I know who you can call. You can call the friendly neighborhood Ghostbusters. See, the smooth thing would really be, A, you got me. I should be enough to protect you. But in Ray Parker Jr.'s case, he knows if a ghost actually did teleport through a wall, he'd be fucking Splitsville. So he doesn't see himself as a reliable bodyguard. He realizes that this girl needs the help of the one and only, as seen on TV, Ghostbusters. This song, it doesn't really put me at ease. First of all, it's shouting at me, and I don't like being shouted at. I don't like the, hey, hey, and I specifically don't like them if they're sped up. You're seeing things running through your head. Who you gonna call? What? Who did he call? What? Here is where Radioactive Man's trusty sidekick mixes it up a little bit. Not only do we get the original lyrics shouted at us, but we also get a little, a little change. We get, uh, whoever is the lead singer of Fall Out Boy, I know I remember. I know there's Pete Wentz. He, he's, he's not the lead singer, is he? I, I don't think he is. We got this little thing with him repeating, I'm not afraid. That's not a chorus. I'm sorry. Yelling, I'm not afraid, by the way, is not very convincing. If you're shouting, I'm not afraid, either... You're doing it as an intimidation, or you're full of shit. Alright, fine, I believe you. You're not afraid. Fuck's sake. I can't sleep when I'm home alone. Nighttime, my lights on. Ooh, got me scared. About halfway through the song, like a hard cut, this song takes a sharp right turn, and we get a taste of Missy Misdemeanor Elliot. After that, failed comeback following her feature on the halftime show with Katy Perry and she released that song with Pharrell Williams that got little to no attention. This is the way you do it, Missy. You jump on to the Fall Out Boy bandwagon. Back to the Future reference number three. Hold on to that bumper. Ride that Fall Out Boy train straight into Ghostbuster Junction. Her guest first, while it's still bad, it's bad. But it's not as bad as the Fall Out Boy parts. It isn't as cringy or embarrassing. But overall, way too much is going on. They are trying to take 15 pounds of shit and cram it into a two pound garbage bag. <laughs> Get it? Garbage bag? <laughs> While I never really cared for Missy Elliott, I did always appreciate her attitude. She was always in your face. Nothing could really seem to get her down. But now it seems weird that she's like, Ooh, God, I'm so afraid. Well, Fall Out Boy, we're like, I'm not afraid! And Missy Elliott's like, Ooh, ghosts all around. Ooh, I can't, I can't go to sleep. She's playing the girl in the music video. But if that girl in the music video had a rap verse, and I don't know, it just seems too kitty. You know, like, ooh, I'm looking out my window, and ooh, this is the scary ghost, this, 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 it's dark in here. It's like, this sounds like a rap verse in, like, a kid horror movie. And I know those aren't, those aren't really prevalent. I don't think there are kid horror movies. But, you know, like, Monster Squad, or Paranorman. You know, it's kind of spooky, but it's for kids, and someone going, ooh, in a song would be a little bit more appropriate. greatness from this because it's a fucking theme song to the new Ghostbusters movie see I'm not one of these guys that's gonna come on here and be like oh this movie's taking a giant shit on my childhood because it's not my childhood is more than the movies and the TV shows I watched 
You know, like, I wouldn't fucking get all butthurt if someone made an all-female Bill and Ted's bogus journey or Pee-wee's big adventure. Two movies I watched religiously as a child. And I liked Ghostbusters. Who didn't? Sure, we all did. But, like, it, it's gotta change, right? Like, it can't be the exact same movie. The, the old movie was classic. It stands out. It needs to change. So I don't mind that it has a new theme song. I just wish it had a good one. I do think it's weird, though, that with all the things they're changing, you know, the genders, the theme song has a modern take, why is the logo still the same? All they did was throw some fucking lens flare on it and made it slightly metallic. That's the one thing I'd actually imagine would be updated. Like, I don't know, the ghost in this is just like, whoo, maybe you have a ghost in there like, word, or some shit. You know, like, why isn't the ghost dabbing? Why is it, yeah, why isn't he dabbing? Sleeping makes me feel good. You know, I'm not one of these guys that looks at this movie like it's taking a giant shit of my childhood. You know, my childhood was more than the fucking shit I watched. The movies I watched a few times. If someone remade Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and they, and they were both women, I wouldn't give a shit. It, what, what, would, what would that even be? Bill would be, like, William. So maybe, like... Lil? Hmm. 